I've buried my agenda. Okay, do it, Next up is, oh, the 6.3, the school committee negotiation team. Yes, Ms. Hart, not so fast. <laughs> we thought you were out, but now we're trying you back in. Yes, uh, Ms. Hart and I have been the HDA um, negotiation subcommittee. Um, we've been in negotiations with the HDA currently <laughs> since January of 2015, and we have a session scheduled for this Wednesday, the 27th. And then we have two more scheduled for May 11th and May 12th, which is obviously right after uh, the election. Um, I would like to see, I, I know she has also expressed um, interest, but I would particularly like to see Marianne uh, stay on board as one of the two school committee representatives to that um, subcommittee to continue the work that we've been working at for so, quite so long. And um, bringing someone else new up to speed would be uh, not only be unfair to them, but it'll also be unfair to you from having put in so much time and effort into uh, to getting this um, hopefully to a close by the 12th. So um, I would propose to, uh, since she won't technically be on the school committee on the 11th or 12th, to, to uh, still um, make a motion to have Marianne still represent the school committee on that. Obviously, the final uh, vote on the uh, collective bargain agreement, whenever it's uh, agreed to, will be by the five school committee members plus the town manager. Marianne would not have an actual vote at that point unless we resolve it in two days. But um, does anyone else have any thoughts? No, I mean, we've had precedent for that before as far as okay. continuing on committees. Kevin Richardson, I think, and Kathy Bowes, when they get off, uh, Kathy Bowes in particular was on the school building committee, and that project was winding up, and there was a lot of legal issues, and we had, at the time, as a board, made um, some decisions to allow her to continue to be on that <laughs> in the thick of things. So it's not, um, it's not unprecedented. I think, it's, I think it's a good idea because um, there's continuity there because um, to bring one, a new member uh, on board to those uh, negotiations you'd have to bring them up to speed and you know Marianne kind of understands the whole situation what's going on the ins and outs of it so I think at this point in time we should just keep her on there and again she's not going to end up voting on the actual uh, right. contract but I think you know having the continuity there I think that's important do you need a motion or do you, do you need a motion on that? Or? First of all, Vinny cannot vote because <laughs> he thinks I'm bonkers. But. <laughs> it's a limited time engagement. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I think just um, the, the chair actually uh, appoints the members to the various subcommittees. Uh, that usually happens in August. And so um, I don't think we, we actually move to, to put people on the different uh, subcommittees. So I, I, having heard well, I think, uh, I think we have the sense of the board tonight. Right. So I think we should just go forward with that. And just that that's did, if we, we don't need to have a, a motion. formal motion, but, you know, um, I, I think we did. Did you have any other comment, Kelly? No. Okay. No, so, that, um, I just want to make sure everyone's comfortable with that. I really do want to see this through. I, I, a lot of work has gone into this, and, and I'm interested in the outcome. So. And we're almost there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that is what that agenda item was about. Um, when I saw that, I thought that that was part of when we had uh, come to an agreement about a testing resolution. So I was just a little concerned. So thank you for the clarification. Sure. I think we, um, yeah, that's what that was. 